Tuesday. My name is Maddie Kemp and welcome to Barrel Racer Life. Um, so this past week we, I didn't have a rodeo, um, which I guess, you know, rodeo season is just getting rolling now, but um, yeah, I didn't have a rodeo to go to. So I did go to a barrel race, but the fun thing about that is I got to run Grinch and Claude. Um, so that was a good time and just getting Jada back in shape. So I'm actually going to run her for the first time this week. Um, she's feeling really good and ready to go, but you know, I'm just a worrier. So I want to make sure she's in good shape and good to go before I run her. Um, so yeah, I will show you guys all about this past week. There's six kittens and four grown-ups. Don't bite me. So, uh, it's been a while since I've thrown my back out, but I did it today. Um, I was taking Jada for a trail ride and um, there's a steep hill on this trail and she usually kind of lopes up it and as soon as she went to take off to lope it was like a guitar string snapped on my back and I had this shooting pain and I felt like I could puke it hurt so bad <laughs> and I knew immediately what it is it's like a muscle strain thing and I haven't done it in years but oh my gosh does it ever hurt but luckily my friend lives down the road from me and she has what's called a revitavet light it's like a kind of like a laser I guess and I'm sitting with it on my back right now and this thing's freaking awesome. There's different settings. I have seen really good results in horses with this and I've used it on an injury before. It is at the top of my list of things that I want. <laughs> so something else I'm doing for my poor aching back tonight is I'm going to try some Crow Tree tea. I'm going to try the Mobility Madness which you can see is good for pain, inflammation, and muscle aches. And the first ingredient is turmeric. So I'm actually gonna be doing a review of a whole bunch of these teas in the next few weeks here, um, but gonna give this one a try for my back tonight. These two are in the same field right now, eating the round bale and uh, I have to tie Jade up to eat so she doesn't go bug Grinch <laughs> while Grinch eats her grain. Grinchy and I are out riding in the rain because, you know, when you got those goals, it doesn't matter the weather. I thought I'd ride her first. She's probably the smoothest out of all my horses. I thought, okay, so if this back thing is going to bug me, I'm going to be sore. I'll try it out on her. And I seem okay. So ice packs and ibuprofen for the win. <laughs> Well, <laughs> sun's coming out now. So it always seems to work that way. As soon as I'm done riding, the rain stops. Oh well. So something I've learned about my father over the years is that if he tells you something will only take you an hour, it usually means it's gonna take you two hours. Um, so my parents are away, so I'm farm sitting. And one of the things that he's left me to do is to go out into the hay field and he wants me to pull all of the stakes out of the field. So he's got all these stakes that are, I don't know, like probably four feet tall um, all around the field where he's marked where there's gopher holes. <laughs> and now it's hay cutting time. So this is, you know, like above my waist um, deep hay because we're kind of getting long out there. But yeah, he's sending me out there to go collect them. And uh, from the looks of it, it looks like there's gotta be a hundred of them. So wish me luck. These. Some have pink flags on them, some do not. Yeah, they're very helpful, thanks. Of it. 
Oh, thank God. Good job, Maddie. That is an 18.083, which is going to be the new back time. Okay. Good job, Maddie. That's a seventeen point nine two eight. Well, I'm just leaving the Peachland Barrel Race here. Um, so Grinchy was old faithful. She did great. Um, I asked my friend's mom to video and unfortunately she kind of fumbled a little bit and panicked. So the person beside her took a video of Grinchy, but they just got me coming, leaving the first barrel. Um, but yeah, old faithful Grinch just put one together. Um, and then Claude, my first barrel was crappy <laughs> and I thought I rode him well today. So I'm going to go, um, maybe consult some friends for a little bit of advice on that first barrel. Um, but the second two were nice. He warmed up really good. And I just think, you know, the first barrel just gave us a little trouble, but, um, he won the 2D and Grinch was second in the 2D. So they still made some money. Um, and we're still competitive, which is awesome. Um, so still a good day in barrel racer land. Um, I'm also super excited because my Miami vice, air conditioned shirt um, came in the mail yesterday so I got to wear it today. I love these shirts. Well, thanks so much for watching. Um, this coming week, I'm kind of all over the place, um, as per usual, I feel like. Um, so I'm actually gonna be heading to Falkland, which is about an hour and a half north of where I live. Um, they've got a barrel race there. I'm gonna try to run all three horses, but the thing with those kind of evening um, weekday jackpots is some days it's kind of hard to run three horses, depending how many entries they get. So we'll just see about that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be there. And then I've entered in Tenasket Rodeo this weekend. Um, I ended up getting Saturday Slack, so I'll be running there in uh, Chenasket, Washington, and then coming back to the coast of BC um, and headed to Chilliwack because there's a slot race, and I bought two slots for that, and so that's the Sunday, um, so I'm going to run Jada and Claude in the slot race this weekend, so that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the weekend. Um, you know, that's my favorite part about rodeo season getting rolling is that, you know, lots of things are going on versus just the odd thing here and there, so I'm excited we're getting into full swing. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Mm -hmm.